Hello, welcome to Friendship Moments. I want to thank y'all for tuning in and watching our devotionals. We at here at Friendship Baptist Church where we do appreciate it. And we hope you're getting a blessing from it. Today, my devotional is entitled, It's Not Falling Apart, It's Falling Into Place. It comes from Ezekiel 37, verses 1 through 14. Now last weekend, Israel was attacked by a terrorist Hamas. Over 1,000 Israelis were either murdered or taken hostage. Israel has responded with air attacks and have started moving troops into Gaza. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has said that this is Israel's 9-11. You know, this isn't the first time that Israel has been attacked by its enemies. In Israel, in Ezekiel 37, scripture tells us that when God put Ezekiel into a valley of the dry bones, bones were scattered everywhere. And God asked Ezekiel if he believes that these bones could live. Well, Ezekiel answers God, Oh Lord, you know. Oh yes, he says he believes. But God tells him to prophesy or to preach God's word to these bones. So we did, as God has commanded, and a great sound of bones rattling as they came together, bone to its bones, and there was flesh and there was tendons. But there was no breath in them. God told Ezekiel to prophesy to bring the breath into them. And they lived and they stood on their feet and it was an exceedingly great army. Ezekiel 37 verse 14 says, I will put my spirit in you and you will live and I will settle you in your own land. Then you will know that I am the Lord has spoken and I have done it, declares the Lord. You know, this is a vision from God on revival of Israel on an Old Testament teaching on resurrection. Not just on Israel, but on all of God's people. As in Genesis 2, 4, God creates, and here we see him recreated. As in 2 Corinthians 5, 17, it says, In Christ, we are all a new creation. All of the blessings that we have in salvation that Jesus secured for us when he went to the cross. The greatest one is life, eternal life. We are the dry bones that were in the valley. But God will rescue his people from the sin and their consequences. As God shows Ezekiel in the scripture, our dry bones are spiritual deaths to be turned into spiritual life. God is promising the impossible. To bring spiritual life out of spiritual death, he would do it to meet ultimately and completely through the life and the death and the resurrection of his son, Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Our most gracious and loving Heavenly Father, thank you for the many blessings that you have given us. Thank you for watching over us and for watching over our families. I pray for our brothers and sisters in Israel, in the Middle East, and that this war may be swift, and that it may be decisive. I pray for our leadership, that they make the decisions that are in accordance with your will. I pray for our little church here by the road, that your hand will be our God and our source of wisdom and understanding. I thank you for our salvation, and that you have given us by the death, the burial, and resurrection of your son, Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.